Criswell here, and today I'd like to demonstrate a new invention, this compact, extensible, polyphonic looping music sequencer. And this version here is a 96-beat sequence that, uh, when you press this button, it plays a little ABBA tune. In an upcoming video, I'm going to show you how this all works and how you can build your own. But for this video, I just want to show off a few of the different ways that this versatile device can be used. Here we have the prototype build of the device, a 16-beat uh, loop sequence that uh, is all tuned to uh, F-sharp by default, I believe. And it tuned to a, an F-sharp major chord. cluster is uh, a group of four note blocks at the end of one of these alternating fingers for maximum packing efficiency. Down here we can see the, the lower level, which is pretty much the, uh, the flip version of the top level. Same exact thing. And you can see that the uh, repeaters are what is uh, governing the timing of the circuit. Because this model has no circuit breaker, uh, you actually have to physically This unit here is a 16-beat uh, version of uh, Moxie's theme from the Borderlands games. And if you play it back, you'll notice this one does have a circuit breaker. This uh, this cornerstone here, I uh, use a gold block as the contact. This is the connection for the circuit, and uh, when it's disengaged, nothing will play. And then uh, you have to switch to re-engage it. There's a few different uh, variations of this can be made for different functionalities, and I'll be showing those to you later. So, when you press the playback button, you get this kind of uh, octave jam here with a, uh, with a kind of a stomp feel to it, and you can see that the rhythm is actually coming from the repeaters here. I've got alternating uh, repeater settings of, uh, of one tick and three ticks. Just as an example to the, uh, the many ways that this circuit can be hooked up to other devices, uh, off of every single note cluster, uh, you can have a secondary output, uh, such as uh, I have powering these lights and these pistons, and you can have uh, virtually any other redstone component on there. You can see I have it hooked up to these doors here, which can be used as a uh, uh, sound effect devices, clappers, or what have you, pistons also, uh, different kinds of noise makers. You can hook it up to dispensers, so we'll see what I have uh, cooked up here when we activate the switch and do the Minecraft twist. You can also have sequencers of uh, varying length. This here is a 12 sound bank array uh, repeated four times, so it's a total of it's 48 beats. 
and this one plays uh, the final countdown by the band Europe. And you can see that the lights activate as the notes are played. It's very cool. The sequencer can also be used to make special effects. Uh, this 48-beat Chris Bonkatron was programmed using randomized input from dice to uh, generate the notes placed on each block. And if we ask it a question, Chris Bonkatron, what is the meaning of life, the universe, and everything? And now when we press the button here, we get a little kind of computer sound. I was thinking. Oh, here's the answer. Oh. And so I want to leave you with this example. A 128-beat sequence that plays The Flight of the Bumblebee by Rimsky-Korsakov. Thanks for watching.